First reading, a reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 14, verses 5 to 18. When it was reported to the king of Egypt that the people had fled, Pharaoh and his servants changed their minds about them. They exclaimed, What have we done? Why? We have released Israel from our service. So Pharaoh made his chariots ready and mustered his soldiers, 600 first-class chariots and all the other chariots of Egypt with warriors on them all. So obstinate had the Lord made Pharaoh that he pursued the children of Israel, even while they were marching away in triumph. The Egyptians then pursued them, Pharaoh's whole army, his horses, chariots and charioteers, caught up with them as they lay encamped by the sea, at Pihariot in front of baal Sephon. Pharaoh was already near when the children of Israel looked up and saw the Egyptians were on the march in pursuit of them. In great fright, they cried out to the Lord, and they complained to Moses, Were there no burial places in Egypt that you had to bring us out here to die in the desert? Why did you do this to us? Why did you bring us out of Egypt? Did we not tell you this in Egypt when we said, Leave us alone? Let us serve the Egyptians. Far better for us to be the slaves of the Egyptians than to die in the desert. But Moses answered the people, Fear not, stand your ground, and you will see the victory the Lord will win for you today. These Egyptians whom you see today, you will never see again. The Lord himself will fight for you. You have only to keep still. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward, and you lift up your staff and with your hand outstretched over the sea, split the sea in two, that the children of Israel may pass through it on dry land. But I will make the Egyptians so obstinate that they will go in after them. Then I will receive glory through Pharaoh and all his army, his chariots and charioteers. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I receive glory through Pharaoh and his chariots and charioteers. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 12, verses 38 to 42. Some of the scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. He said to them in reply, An evil and unfaithful generation seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah the prophet. Just as Jonah was in the belly of the whale three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it, because they repented at the preaching of Jonah, and there is something greater than Jonah here. At the judgment, the queen of the south will arise with this generation and condemn it, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and there is something greater than Solomon here. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Once again, Lord has given us a new day and He is inviting all of us to be new, new creation. So therefore, the Word of God gives us light to begin anew. Dear brothers and sisters, when we go through the liturgy of the Word today, the powerful word we have is sign, sign. In the Old Testament too, We can find there are some prophets like Prophet Elijah, Prophet Samuel, who speak about sign. And uh, uh, King Ahaz was given a sign. 
Also, dear brothers and sisters, in the Old Testament, we find Pharisees and Sadducees were asking for a sign from Jesus. And Jesus himself is the sign of God's love, my dear brothers and sisters. Yet, Pharisees, Sadducees, all those people fail to realize that Jesus is the sign of God's love. Even in the letter, Misericordia Vultus, Misericordia Vultus was issued for the year of mercy by, by Holy Father. And in that, it says, Jesus is the face of God's mercy. God's love, God's mercy. My dear brothers and sisters, St. John in his gospel, he says, not miracles, but Jesus performed signs. The first sign Jesus performed according to the evangelist John is the sign he performed, showed at wedding at Cana, the first sign. Dear brothers and sisters, Jesus' signs were different from the signs of the prophets in the Old Testament. Jesus' sign was God's love, God's compassion, God's kindness, and God's mercy. My dear brothers and sisters, even today, there are people who ask us signs. And they say, give us a sign that you are a Christian. Give us a sign you are a... What sign we can give, my dear brothers and sisters, to love one another? Our sign, the sign of love, is all what we can show to say that I am a Christian. Jesus says, as just as I have loved you, lo love one another, love one another. So therefore, uh, the sign uh, to give, to, us, to prove that we are Christians is to love our own brothers and sisters. And some say, uh, give us a sign that you are religious or you are priest. Give us a sign. Dear brothers and sisters, the religious habit is a sign. Religious habit. We must be signs and bearers of God's love. Hmm? Everyone who has a religious uh, a priestly habit uh, or rather religious habit uh, should bear Christ, uh, Christ's love. Hmm? Uh, dear brothers and sisters, Revelation chapter 12, verse 1, and there is a one beautiful quotation. And it says, a great sign, great sign appeared in heaven, a woman robed with the, uh, with the sun uh, standing on the moon. Ah, hmm. there was a great sign appeared, great sign. Hmm. Dear brothers and sisters, uh, our lady is a sign. Our Lady is a sign. Mm. Through Blessed Mother, uh, we can see Jesus, God's love. And the Blessed Sacrament, Holy Eucharist, is the most powerful sign we have, God's presence among us. And the Catholic Church, the sacraments, dear brothers and sisters, we have enough signs. We don't want to ask more signs from Jesus. Our life, your life, is... A, a, a powerful sign of God's love. And the most powerful sign that we have is on the altar. Bread and wine turning into Jesus' body and blood. The, the greatest sign, miracle, par excellence. Go, go, don't run here and there looking for signs on the roof, or on the wall, or anywhere. Dear brothers and sisters, Go before the Lord because He is our sign. May God bless you.